It's me, Mario! Hmm. Ah! Oh. Guys, Luigi Man 22. You're welcome back to another episode. Of Let's play Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. On the last episode, I derped around, collect the third bomb bag, collecting I think two heart pieces. Sure, two heart pieces and three pole souls, bringing us to a good total of six. Only 14 more to go. Don't worry. In the next area we're going to, there's gonna be a lot of pose. And on this episode, we're gonna meet Aru. Whoever the hell he is, because we've heard him being mentioned before by Telma and the nerd and our friend back at Ordon and Chick who turned out to be a man or something. Man who turned out to be a chick, I don't know. What happened? I don't know what happened. So, she's got something to tell me. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? Yes, uh, thanks for the title. You do know Telma, don't you? I am Aru. I'm part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Actually, yeah. I'm interested. Or am I mistaken? No, no, I'm interested. You do know, don't you, Master Link? No. The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Oh, uh, that sounds interesting. Now the prison's condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. This desert is at world's end. It still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of, do of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask. What will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. I feel like that's your way of telling me to go there, even if I say no. So, just go say yes. Ah, is that so? Then, then let good old Aru help you, help you out. We see Lake Hylia below us? A man named Fire runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. And we got Aru's memo. That's all we need to know, is, is a bunch of sheets of paper. See, long ago I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. So if if you leave up the rest up to Fire, then all should go well. Okay. I decided <laughs> to jump off the tower into the lake. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. So if it wasn't obvious what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to go bring the memos to fire and uh, go aboard on his uh, I regret my life choices ride and shoot our way while regretting our life's choices into Gerudo Desert. So a lot of regretting already because no one likes this ride. Alright, just let me just, just gonna slump this to the B button over here. Alright, buddy. Gimme. Hmm? From old Aru, huh? Ah, well, I guess I'll do what the gold coot says. O o Oasis flight. <laughs> Oasis flight, right? So here you go. One of our secret options not available to the general public. This time's all paid for. So what'd you say? Wanna go? Sure. Alrighty then. But remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole! And I'm already regretting it. I'm regretting my life's choices already. So totally regretting it! And somehow we made it unscathed, not our heads in the sand a la Mario style. No, we just perfectly fine. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. 
Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadows? Not really. What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. Okay, looks like more history time. Although, less creepy. It was another world entirely. The antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Flitting in the half light of dusk. I, I read that rose another way. Yeah, I'm never mind. Mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the Twilight, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? I'm a de descendant of the tribe that was banished to the sacred wild. <laughs> I can't read, damn it. Screw I, I, I have bad reading skills, literary skills. There we go. It was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into Shadow Beasts. That one looks creepy. It's clear to me now he has he has somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But, there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddess forbade us to return to the World of Light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. So come with me, won't you? Don't touch my face. I don't like it when people touch my face. Take your hand off my face. Just take it off. Thank you. Okay, crazy history lesson time is over, and oh, so hatred of doom and destruction and horrors will come upon me. Welcome to the desert of desert of twilight. I was about to say the desert of twilight. I am such a freaking noob when it comes to names. I hate these guys, by the way. Get used to them. Welcome to the Gerudo Desert. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. There's a lot of hidden places where you can get rupees. Speaking of rupees, I probably should have done this in the first place before starting the episode. Oh well. I don't know why I'm bothering fighting these enemies. They're not they're not worth anything to me. They're just pointless enemies. That actually they're not pointless enemies, they're an annoyance. I'll say that much. It's an annoyance. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! You bumped into my back. I do not want to Z target you. No, I don't want to Z target you. Uh, there are bugs around here. In fact, there's one of them right there. Uh, might as well collect them before I forget. And come on, come on, come on! Don't fly away from me! Don't fly away from me! Come on! Ah! Pick up! Come on! Pick, pick it up! Pick it up! There we go. What is this? Male day fly, and I know where the female one is, and it's actually on our way to a point of interest where I want to go. And there are deep crevices. Oh, just come over here. No one likes you. That one's huge. Wow. All right, just gotta travel my way. That is where we ultimately want to go, but I'm ignoring it all for now because I want to go to this little piece of location and interest. Actually, I think, yep, right here. Somewhere around here is the female dayfly. I'm trying to remember where. It's somewhere. 
somewhere around this area where there are these sand crawler guys who are trying to eat my face. Where is it? I know it's around here. I'm trying to I'm trying to listen to it. Uh wow. I hear it. I think I heard it. Is it over here? I'm telling you, it's somewhere right here. I am not going. Don't stop Z targeting this stupid P hat. Where is it? I know it's somewhere around here. I've always come across it right here. Unless it's somewhere else. Unless I'm looking into. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> Such an idiot. Come on, come over here. Come over here. Come. Why, why are you doing this to me? Dude, seriously? I can't focus with these guys over here and I'm Where did where did it go? Where did it go? Uh screw you guys for making me lose my freaking target. Where did it go? It's right here glitching on the floor. There it is! I randomly spawned right there. Can I grab it from here? No, I can't. Okay. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme! Ah, fine, I'll use my flippin' lantern. I don't want to use my lantern. I guess I have to. Because I have no choice. Come over here. Be attracted to my light. Ugh, freaking horse. There we go. There, we're done. We got, we got all the bugs. Those are the only two bugs that you need to worry about right here. Now, like I said... We're going coming up to a little piece, of, a little in, point of interest, cause there's that thing and the other thing that is uh, it, hidden underneath the bridge. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, where are you, P hats? There you are. Nope, nope. Oh, final Z target you then. Oh, there's a Poe up here. Oh, after we deal with the uh, Shadow Beast, of course. I forgot this happens. I know there's a warp point here, but I forgot <laughs> where it is. How many are there? Three. Okay, uh, I just need to take care of your buddy here. Two is three is to do fine, and come closer. Spin attack. So much easier with the uh, with the um uh, the um uh, the um uh, master sword. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like so distant today. I don't know why. I'm like distant with my words. I'm like distant with from where I am right now. Whatever. I'm just trying to make my day feel better. So, there's a Poe right here. If I could get him to come down. Hi. That that was a little weird for a minute. And we got ourselves a another pole soul. That's neat. Actually, hold on. We gotta do this real quick. What is this thing? So, if it doesn't already strike you already if you remember oh way way back then I don't remember how long ago uh, the bridge of Elden was destroyed and it, the bridge part disappeared well guess what this is the bridge of Elden right here and all we really gotta do is teleported away. Okay, easy, 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 easy there, easy. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I think I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure it won't fall. So there we go. Now we can go and from go go to and leave from the Elden Province anytime we want. And I stupidly jumped off the uh, bridge. I'm surprised it doesn't take me to Lake Hylia. I do not want to transform to a human. I pressed down on the stupid freaking nunchuck stick thing. 
I actually want to warp back to Castletown because I'm going to unload my rupees before I forget. And the next dungeon and next area we got to go through to get to the next dungeon has a lot of rupees hidden. So I want to unload all of those right now, actually. Okay, cool. Neat. Awesome. So, I'll be right back, I guess. I got to transform to human because no one likes me when I'm in wolf form. So, I'll just, uh, meet you guys, uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna leave this on camera. Only because I'm lazy to edit, probably. I don't know. Hi! Yes, I know, I'll donate my freaking rupees to you. I'll donate all of my rupees if I can. But I can't. I think I'm almost there. I think I got, like, less than 500 to go, probably. Yes, I know, old man. Do you have to make that sound every time I talk to you? Apparently. Okay, am I done? Yep, that's it. I'm done. Donate a thousand rupees and a piece of heart falls from the sky. We did it. We only need two more, and I think that's all we can do in Castletown for now. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember so well. That's a fact. Speaking of that's a fact, I should probably f try to find the other butterfly. I said probably. Probably not. It's nighttime, so it should be easier to find the silly butterfly thing. I think I know where it is too, now that I think about it. I don't even know if it's the same one, or if it's a completely different butterfly, but I think I know where it is. Then after that, I'll warp back to Gru Desert and then probably end off the episode there. So... Cutting away now, because this is boring. <laughs> and I know boring. Actually, guess what? This is in a completely different area with completely different bugs. I found myself the male stack beetle instead of uh, <laughs> the butterfly that I was looking for. I think the female stag is probably somewhere on the cliffside. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna... I'm, okay, I'm just gonna try to look for the female stag, but if I don't find it, then... I'll probably just end off the episode. I'm trying to remember where I'm, all the bugs are, but I don't off the top of my head, so I gotta find a guide. Or something. I think it's somewhere right here. I think. Don't, don't quote me on this. Because I feel bad if I get stuff wrong and then stab you in the head. You get spin attacked. You get stabbed in the crotch. And then I do my cool sword thing. Okay, is it here? It is there. Neat. Uh, there we go. Come over here. And we got the female stag. Ignore this. I know this is obvious to you, and I probably know some of you are screaming at me while you saw that while I was aiming at the stag beetle before. I know you're yelling at me to bomb this. I wouldn't do it yet, because we don't have the necessary item to do this. Because we need an item to, uh, get whatever's in there. So, that's that. But, I'm gonna call this an episode, so if you like what you see here, just slap that like button. If you really like what you see here, just slap the subscribe button, you won't regret it. And if you do, then blame yourself for listening to me. And on the next episode, we're gonna continue on the Gerudo Desert, and go to what I like to call the fun part of the, uh, the, uh, area. I'll give you a hint. It involves this with the Hawkeye. I'm gonna snipe some people! I, sh I shot an arrow. I did not mean to. Oh, some of you are gonna get sniped and I'm gonna love it. And I'll see you guys next time! Someone's gonna die cause they're sleeping on the job. Okay, is there anyone else here? No. I think the proper grammar term is hurt it. I don't know. I'm not a grammar Nazi or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's hurt it. Also, that buzzing sounds annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god!